Welcome to the 20th anniversary Gumball. Can you believe it? Here we are, about to embark on the next seven days to end up in Tokyo next Saturday evening. Are you ready for this adventure? Yeah! We set this up, the tone of this week, amazingly on Friday night with the charity auction grid in this same room that closed at 11.59 at a record for us. Uh, we reached 427,462 pounds. I mean, pretty staggering. I think that's pretty much doubled our last target on this charity grid. Okay, let's have a great 20th anniversary. Thank you very much. All right, quick transition from the briefing room to the tour bus. Thank you, Drive. You're very welcome. We are now getting off the celeb bus, the VIP bus, to Covent Garden to greet the crowds, see what's going on. And um, appropriately, look who's here. Another Gumball veteran, Josh Cartu. You're in, the, you're in the 812 Super Fast this year. I am. Look at this, another good looking bearded blonde guy. <laughs> Dude, it's a, this is a theme, like beards and eccentric glasses. Pretty much. That's what's up, right? So, yeah. But uh, we're, we're going to be catching up with him on the rally. We're going the full leg. We'll catch you later, dude. But this is what's up right now. This is where it all kicks off. We're walking onto the grid and uh, we're taking you onto what is known as the photo call. So all of the celebs and VIPs were right at the front of the grid. We have a big uh, photo call with the press, and then we're going to immerse you in the energy that is the crowd that comes down for Gumball 3000. And with another Gumball veteran, David Hasselhoff. Good morning. What is what number rally is this for you? This is uh, the uh, I've been doing it for 10 years. It's, uh, I think this is number seven or eight because a couple of them I. Uh, I just started the race, but I'm going to be uh, joining this one for a few legs and having a good time. Fantastic. On my, on my honeymoon. And I, I was going to say, I believe congratulations to you. You just yeah, got married. Thank you, man. Congratulations, thank you dude. This is awesome news. Yeah. Well, I know in a minute we're going to go through there and it's going to get crazy. So if I don't see you, enjoy the, the start. All right. And uh, maybe we'll catch up later. I'll see you. Uh, see you there. See you <laughs> Have a good one, man. And just like that, we were on the grid. Check this out. How's it going, guys? This is ridiculous. As soon as you step on here, it gets like super intense energy. And this is what the Gumball Grid looks like. grid of the 20th anniversary Gumball 3000 in Covent Garden. As you can imagine, the crowds are ridiculous. This is how it all starts. Oh, it's intense. Check it, look at the view we've got as well. Ah, oh, it's so cool. So in a minute, I also have to find Parker because he's on the grid here somewhere and uh, he will be hopping in the car and we'll be continuing our journey together soon. Uh, I've just been distracted because Jeremy Piven is riding shotgun on the side of that DB11 Volante, which is quite cool. This is convenient because he needs to get here. Uh, he's right here now, Liz. He's right here now. This is good. Parker, get in the car, man! Oh my God. Get in the car! Like you know the Thank you. Dude. You oh, just made oh it. Oh my god. Just made oh it. Oh my god. <laughs> there is the start literally right there. Okay, so the reason Parker's very kindly filming the back of the 812 Super Pass for us is that I'm gonna get to that point in a minute. I want Parker to point back and forwards again to check out the people on the bridge. Look at the people on the bridge! It's so cool, everybody is out for Gumball. This truly is 
a global event and this happens everywhere on almost every bridge on the whole route that we go through certainly through Europe anyway we're gonna have a reception like that anyway back to the A12 super fast uh, if you guys follow the channel regularly you'll know that we are on the early journey of me specking my car uh, I'll explain why the A12 super fast is still on order when we get to it closer to the time because as you guys know I was graced with the honor of being able to get hold of a uh, F12 TDF but the spec of the 812 still hangs in limbo. We've just seen the color on that red. With the sunlight on it, it's like this gorgeous, glossy, cherry red. And I want to ask the guy the color of the car. So we're just 10 miles out from the Channel Tunnel. We're going to get on it. And then we're going to go and find out what the red is on that car and show you around the Channel Tunnel of Gumballers. I was wondering what shade of red is your 812? What shade? What shade? Is Rosso Berlinetta? Fuoco. Fuoco. Yes. It's a triple layer red, right? Oh. Rosso Fuoco? Yes. Dude, in the sun it looks amazing. Thank you very much. Amazing. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. Rosso Fuoco. Man, annoyingly that's like a 20 grand paint. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. Rosso. Dude, but have amazing. you seen Rosso Chromo? <laughs> <laughs> the Euro tunnel um, and normally I do these road trips on my own or with one or two other cars but to do it with a gumball fleet we've basically taken over the whole channel tunnel particularly this train anyway uh, these guys have come over from Dubai I think it's their first time on the tunnel it's a very very special environment um, now if you follow the channel regularly I've probably taken you through this journey quite a lot so I'll see you the other side This is what I'm talking about. Everywhere we go, there's fans supporting Gumball 3000. This is so that. special. I love that. I love how much the French are embracing this culture. Thanks for welcoming us, France. This, this is, is super awesome. cool. This is awesome. Wasting my time with too many reflections. Yeah. This is amazing. Wow. I don't even know where to point which my camera. Way? There's just oh, so which many way are we people. going? Am I going this way? We're going this way. This is the way. Thank you, sir. Jean Marie. Wow. Wow. This is, this is unbelievable. incredible this is... location. Would you be so kind as to... Oh, uh, yes, I will. Go, just so that we I can, will, my uh... friend. Yeah. This is so sick. Oh, my God. Oh, man. This is wow. absolutely nuts. Look at everyone. This is so crazy. Excellent. Woo! Yeah. Makes a bit more noise. Okay, so what happens at every stage of the rally, beginning and middle and the end, we get a route card to tell us what's happening tonight and the following day. Um, we're gonna uh, digest this and find out what's going on. Tonight's venue, welcome reception, etc. Really so, uh, yeah, and then it goes on until Monday the 6th. So, so we uh, lose all the route cards. Etc. But. Yep. How are you doing? Anyway, I'm all right, I'm you all right, good? I'm all right, yeah. Cool. This, this place is, I didn't expect this place to be like, it looks this like is Disneyland. incredible. Disneyland, but wow. without the characters. <laughs> Do we? <laughs> We're the characters. You... Wow, man. And look at this. This is unbelievable. As Parker said, this is the guest house. Flippin' believable, guys. Wow. Look at this. I'm truly blown away. I mean, the, you know, if you land in the right spots in France, it's the so architecture awesome. is absolutely outstanding. Okay, we finally arrived at our destination. I've been trying to find a location where I could try and capture all of the cars on this rally in one spot. I thought Covent Garden was going to be it. I even thought the Gumball Garage was going to be it. But it turns out the end of day one in Chantilly, France is the location. Just take a look at this. These are all of the cars taking part in Gumball this year. The majority of these are on their way to Japan for the backdrop of this incredible chateau. This is honestly, it's unbelievable. I'm gonna uh, immerse you in some sexy B-roll to highlight some of the special cars here. Oh, 
Okay. <laughs> seamless transition. I can't take this seriously. Seamless transition from the car park to the boudoir. That's where we are. <laughs> We've moved chateaus. Transpires yeah. that our uh, resplendent car park was simply that, just a car park. We don't get to stay in that magnificent chateau, but we do get to come back to it in the morning. The which... craziest part is, like you said, our cars get to sleep at the chateau. But we don't. <laughs> but they got the... I mean, this hotel, though, is spectacular, but that chateau is just breathtaking. And yeah. I'm so tired, I could literally fall asleep So right now. I mean. as, a, as a little bit of behind the scenes, this is what goes on. We To bring this content fresh to your eyeballs, First thing we do is get in, order a club sandwich, open the laptops, literally and sigh at the four hour edit that Emails, lies ahead. Editing many many functions in order we have to, to make get this up operation like work. Really, really soon. So tomorrow we're driving from Chantilly to Milan in Italy, which I think is probably the longest leg of the whole rally. I'm gonna look it up right now. Let's see. Who where is it? Milan? Yeah. Milan. <laughs> Was that filming? Yeah, that's filming. <laughs> nine hours at nine the speed hour. limit. Nine hours. I we mean, can, avoid Switzerland entirely. Avoid Italy entirely. <laughs> We're going there. We can avoid Switzerland entirely. Okay. Because they, they take uh, speeding very seriously. In fact, they... So here's our route uh, that's going to be taking place tomorrow. This is one of the longest legs of the rally. Obviously, forget the fact that we're taking all the cars on airplanes to Japan, but in terms of driving miles... 896 kilometers. 555 miles. That's a long way. That's, that's a long way, that's man. That's booking it. That is a long way. So, yeah. This is what happens. We edit till 4 in the morning, and then we get up and drive, and bring and you fresh snuggle. content all over again. And tonight, we're going to spoon. Ciao. <laughs> Please leave that in. Please.